This is Tim Balecki. I'm the managing partner of Balecki and DuPont, and I'm here with my colleague Mike Waddington here on the Military Law News Network. Now, one of the things I want to talk about today is how do we choose clients? At, our, at my law firm in particular, I probably get 60 to 90 quality leads a month. Those are individuals who want to retain my law firm to represent them. And I know you're about the same at your law firm, Mike. So one of the ways that I know that you choose who you want to represent, I know you study a lot about the warrior ethos. I know you study a lot about warfare. You've written books, The Trial Warrior. I know that you are a student of history. And I can even see in the background the picture off to your shoulder, uh, the samurai photo. Yeah, that's a, that's a watercolor I had I had uh, commissioned and, and sent to me uh, and framed because that depicts how I think and how I approach co a courtroom setting. And you wait for that right moment to strike. You have ultimate calm and confidence in your abilities, and you're not like a basket case running around. And you know when to strike, and your strikes must be. They must matter and they must be lethal. So, yeah, Tim, you and I, we, we've been doing cases together like almost 10 years now. We've known each other for about 10 years. And, and we've gotten to know each other fairly well. We've done cases together. We, we traveled together to go to different conferences and, and, and train at different conferences with other lawyers around the country. We read a lot of the same books. It's the same here. We, we probably get about, like today, I probably got nine leads through our website. I would say... Uh, one or two of them have the right combination of, of the attitude and, and the type of case we want to take. It's a serious case. The person wants to fight and they have a positive attitude and they're not a complaining, whining type of person because you can, it's hard to win a case. Like when we're going into the ring, you know, like you're going to step into the octagon. You don't need, and it's one person fighting another and that's kind of like a trial. You don't need your client or their mother or their family tripping you as you go into to t fight that opponent that's that's trying to punch you or, or stab you, uh, and you don't need your client blinding you and with on, on your back choking you. And I'm sure if you've experienced this, and I know you have, because many of the cases that that are winnable that you can't that you don't win, it's because of things that are done by the person you're trying to help. Exactly, Mike. And, and while I'm not as much of a student of the warrior as you are, I, I put people, and I, I talked about this in a prior video, I look at people almost in two categories. I look at people very binary. I look at people's assets or liabilities. I'm a finance guy as well. So I look at that, is this person gonna be an asset in my life or an asset to the firm or are they gonna be a liability? Um, and that's kind of my personal look on things. I'm very binary about who I associate with. But as clients, I put people into two categories. They're victims or victors. And we talked about this in another video, but if Every problem that you have is because of something else or someone else is doing or the world is against you or the command is against you or woe is me and everything's wrong. You are a victim and you have that victim mentality. And first off, it's not endearing. Uh, second off, it's very it just it's really mentally draining. And the third is it doesn't breed success. Right. Because I want someone that's going to be a victor. I, and I understand you may be depressed. You may have a lot going on. And that's the reality. If you've been charged with a sexual assault or charged with BAH fraud or some felony level offense, there's a lot going on because your future you don't, is unknown and it could dramatically change. But I want someone that can channel that and come into my office and say, you know, Mr. Blackie, Tim, I've got all this on my plate. But I'm ready to fight. What do you need from me to fight this? I, I'm, I want to win this as much as you do. And you should want to win it more than I do. But oftentimes, I want to win it more than my clients. So when I look at that, when someone says, I didn't do this. I'm being railroaded by the government. I'm being overcharged. I want to win. Do what you need to do. Assemble the team to win. Those are the clients I choose. Because like you said, we get a lot of people that want to retain our services. Well, then I need you to have that positive attitude and that, that will to win and that victor's mentality. So we can go into trial. You're going to listen to what I need, need you to do. You're going to take the gloves off. We're going to go into that octagon. and You're, you're going to go let me kick their ass. And, and Tim, in, in, in the reality of it, you know, as a lawyer, our only commodity really is our experience and our time. And so we don't sell products. You know, we don't sell uh, chewing gum. It's our time. We have 52 weeks in the year, and, and I think it's important that you take time to practice, to train, to be prepared, and that you take time off to be with your family and things like that. So you have 52 weeks in the year. A few of those are holiday weeks. And so really, you only have enough time to try about you know anywhere from 15 to 25, which is really, really pushing it. Maybe a good average is 18 to 20 cases a year. So 
out of the out of the thousands of people that are being accused around the world in the military, I can only really try uh, 20 cases maximum a year. So the bottom line is I want to be with people that want to win and I want to be with people that I like, that I want to spend a week with. And so that's one of the things that we do when we when we screen the clients. We're not just asking them, hey, did you have money for the fees? I mean, a lot of people have money for the fees or they can get the fees. And if they don't have the, the winner's attitude, I don't want to deal with them uh, because it makes my life miserable. It, it decreases our chances of winning. And I want to, we want to help the people. I want to get, I want that person walking out of the courtroom with their baby in their arms, going out to dinner with their wife uh, and family to celebrate the victory. And frankly, I don't give a, I don't really care what the person did or is accused of doing in the sense that we, it's not like we only represent people that are 100% innocent. If the person is being accused, we're going to make sure that the government has the hardest time possible using and, and uses due process to, tr to try to prove that case and cross-examine the witnesses vigorously as much as we can to create doubt in the jurors' minds and try to win the case. That's exactly right, Mike. Time is a precious commodity that's in short supply. As you said, there's 12 months in a year. And I'm usually up by 4 a.m. and I'm usually working until 6, 7 o'clock at night. I've got a wife, I've got a family, I manage a law firm. So there's a limited amount of time that I have I can dedicate towards trying cases. And that's probably about 15 trials a year. Sometimes I can do 20, 22, other times it's 12, depending on the complexity of the case. But I have to be really picky about who I, I take on as a client. Because it's not just about the money. Because a lot of times people say they will have, certainly have the fees or can come up with the fees. And I won't necessarily take that client or I'll refer them to someone else because it's not someone that I want to personally represent. We both want to represent people that are winners uh, so that we can help them. And, and it increases your chance of winning in trial and increases our chance of winning in trial. And also we want to have happy clients who go out and continue on with productive lives. Uh, and you can't do that if you have a client that's a consummate complaining victim. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen?